so they'll explain so what about the eyes what about the, the eyes well yeah you could stick your finger straight through and poke somebody's brain out hold on to that thought hold on to that thought please is what i said within minutes they changed it oh no no just quite far back in the head aren't they so i'm begging people to please hold on please hold on to that memory the one that you've just said look i'll be honest I bloody hate being Mandela affected. It's got nothing. I've heard people say to, you know, say on uh, on other people's channels, um, of which I want to thank Dale DeFay. Thank you very much. You've um, talked in a way that has helped me. Um, I think Jay Chris, you two, um, have, have too many to mention. You know who they are. My, 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 my mind's everywhere with this. Because the reality is, it is happening. And I don't bloody know why. I don't know. And I feel alone. And I feel lost. And I don't know what's going to happen. And I know that in my own existence, things that are going on, things are appearing, they're disappearing, they're changing. It's not just Bernstein, Bernstein bears, mirror, mirror on the wall. It's in my own... I'm looking... At, it's getting to the point where it's difficult because everything about everything, I'm looking at the TV and it's showing me changes that sh shouldn't be there. Things that are wrong. And, and I'm trying to sit with people that aren't affected. They're not affected. I can't share it with them. And I need to. And I don't know what it is and I don't know why, but I'll tell you this. It isn't just about CERN. I don't claim to know what it is, but I'll tell you this. I, all my life, I've had this confusion because I never really understood how many states America had now that I know what the Mandela Effect is. And believe me, I hate that bloody title. People take the piss out of that title and I don't blame them because whatever this is, some psychic woman calling it the Mandela Effect, people seem to think that she's somehow got some new cult going. It's got nothing to do with what she called it. It's an actual reality thing that's happening. And it's been happening to me since my tw since my teens. I just never realised it. I don't know what's going on, but something big has obviously happened because in the last three years, you can't... The last three years have changed so much. So much has changed. I'm, I'm watching things. I'm seeing things all around me that aren't real. They're not my reality. So what is it? And why can't my loved ones see it? And why has it been happening to me since I was a teenager? I know you can't give me any answers. And quite frankly, I think this is, I think I'm making this really for myself to get it out of my system because I can't talk to anybody about it because they get upset. So please, if, you, if, you, if you're going to just come and give people that are Mandela affected shit, please understand, when, we don't like it. It's lonely. It's deep, it's oh, it's mind blowing. It's the most fucked up thing in ever. All I know is that life is not what we thought it was. I don't know what this is. I don't know if I'm living in a simulation. I don't know what it is. I don't claim to know what it is, but I do know that things have changed massively since 2012 and especially since 2016. The last 3 years have gone bonkers with changes so i'm not sure and it's freaking me out because i thought i knew what what the world was you know what i mean i did i i, I thought i understood it i i mean in, i'm into history and then suddenly none of it's real this what is this how can i walk down a street in my own street with the thing that's there that's gone how can businesses pop up out of nowhere how can my face not be the original? How, so, and again, there, there. If this isn't my original body, where is my original body? And if this isn't my original body, and I know that me, the original person who remembers everything, is now in here, where the bloody hell is the person that, that should be in here? Where's that, Ashley? Where's that person? See, so many questions. And I need somebody to bounce off. I just need somebody to say, I see it. It's freaky, isn't it? Because 
you could some people can see like my friend's daughter she sees she at all affected by it she can go from that to oh, that's really yeah that's really weird to oh i'm just gonna go and do my hair or i'm gonna put my nail varnish on or i'm gonna watch some soap on the tv or whatever it is easily forgotten whereas i can't ease i can't forget it's every minute of my day and i'm alone so i mean we're all over the world how on earth are we supposed to connect with each other you see i've, I've been on groups on facebook and they let our souls in that aren't affected that spend their time arguing with us we don't need to be argued with this is freaky enough as it is without being arg arguing with people i will not argue with anybody about it call me what you want i don't care because this is happening and it's far greater than anything that you can say to me you know what i mean it really is and you know what reaction you get tumbleweeds that's what you get tumbleweeds right over the head nothing no reaction it's as if i'd not said it the unaffected can't see it at all my loved ones think that i'm somehow psychic and i'm dreaming i've dreamed all this and they can't see the things like the squiggle in the ford they can't see all those little name changes they can't see the change in their own bloody flag they can't see the change in their body. They don't see that America, South America is now like whoop over here somewhere. They can't see the problem. The fact that the North Pole's ice cap isn't there anymore. I mean, and I'm keeping all this inside. So don't come with your bollocks about Mandela effect is just down to one woman who's got this cult. It's changed the Bible. The unchanged King James Bible has been changed. It is different. Massively different. The actual original, not changing, not the new version. The, the unchanged for like 612 years or something is now changed. The Sistine Chapel, have you, the Sistine Chapel, the, this is it, blows me away. Sistine Chapel used to show the creation of Adam. Adam down here, God up here in a blue heaven. Now, uh, put God pointing down to Adam's finger like this. Now, it's God and Adam being pretty much on a par. Adam's finger being over the top like that. And God being in a red brain. In a red brain. In a red brain. This is the creation of Adam. It's changed. Why would God be in a red brain? Surely he'd be in a... I've discussed this with my loved ones and they say, yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's the bloody Sistine Chapel. I don't care if you don't believe in it or not. Believe me, it's far bigger than your opinion. So if you don't agree with the Mandela effect, if you think that it's an absolute made-up load of tosh, then fair dues to you. Fair dues. But leave the people who are actually affected. Leave us alone, please. And... Right, with that in mind, um, I just want to really discuss, I mean, well, to be fair, there's a zillion things I want to discuss. Right now I seem quite lucid, but believe me, the amount of times I've found myself sobbing my heart out, because being Mandela affected is one of the loneliest things in the world. In fact, what world? Because I'm looking outside now, there's a sun out there that's no longer yellow. My sun was yellow, you can't tell me. That I've misremembered what colour the sun is. The earth that I'm standing on. The geography has completely changed. Completely. The map has moved. It's changed. It's different. And this body here. This isn't my original body. This isn't my original face. Now I'm saying that because it's actually three years ago. Uh, next month. Uh, sorry, next week actually. Three years since I started noticing the mandela effect without even understanding or knowing what the mandela effect was i had no idea i just my face was the first thing that i noticed that had changed how mad do you think that made me feel i mean really how mad do you think that made me feel i threw it to one side i kept i didn't i mean look look at this look where the bloody hell is this wide face come from now don't get me wrong i can see my jowls i am nearly 54 i've got to have some kind of showing of age but 
this, this whole cheekbone thing, my face used to look like this, about here. Now we've got this whole, this, this thing going on here, wide. I don't know where that came from. So that was the first thing that I noticed. And, and then obviously over time, I was noticing things like the Ford symbol had got this little pig thing on it and Kit Kat no longer had a gap in between it. Oh, so, so many, so many of things that you've seen. I'm quite sure if you're Mandela affected, you've seen most of them. Um, but it's the things that are happening on the ground that are getting me freaked out most, most of all. I mean, to be honest with you, the thing that freaks me out most of all is that I can't, I can't talk to my family about it. I can't share it with my loved ones. It's the most, being Mandela affected is the most lonely thing ever. And all I long to do is talk to somebody about it, just chat with somebody that understands because I'm losing my mind. I'm, so, right, we know about changing. I mean, I, I'm actually seeing it on my TV. My, I'm British and my flag is different, for God's sake. They're changing my history. That oh, I'm, I'm looking at the TV and trying to be normal while I'm seeing things that are different from my world where I originally came from. And it ain't here. It ain't here. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not mental. I know. The only thing is, is that like, like I just said that my face is different. So I know that I'm not in my original body. I'm not the original me. I might be in here, but this is not the original me. I'm not sure how many ribs we've got anymore because they keep changing because that's the thing about the Mandela effect. We seem to be going not, we're not just making big changes like the sun, the, the globe. We're making changes like moving. It, people say we've got re, we've got residual evidence, but the residual evidence bounces backwards and forwards. So what might be there one day will have changed again. Like Vaseline went from Vaseline to Vasoline and back to Vaseline again. But it's the changes on the ground that are freaking me out because things are appearing that weren't there before. The first time I noticed this was um, in well going into town i noticed this well this building was there this whole this whole new this whole business was on one side of the road where it had just been derelict building um and i commented on it the people i was with they kind of shrugged it off but one day i decided to go in and ask and i said how how long have you been here for and they said seven years seven years it hadn't been there before. I'm not stupid. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. I know what was and wasn't there before. And also next to that was a very lot. Well, it was it was a broken down warehouse, a really bo broken down warehouse with very faded um, painted pictures of like, I didn't know whether it had been an office supplies place at one time because it looked like office chairs or something that would faded on the building. Anyway, lo and behold, these these faded pictures one day are bang in your face, proper painted pictures of furniture. Now, at first I thought, well, I don't know what I thought at first. I was freaked out. And the first thing I did was I phoned my friend's daughter, who is Mandela affected. She can see it, but she's not affected by it. I'm, I, I, there's not a minute of any day that I'm not affected by the Mandela effect. She knows it's happening, isn't affected by it. At least she, I could actually share it. And I said to her, have you ever seen this? I was that freaked out. And I turned the camera around and I showed her. She went, what is that? And I said, it's this massive furniture. They make high quality furniture. And it had never been there before. Or it kind of had, because I remember seeing the faded, the faded painting on the building was now massive. So was I seeing it coming into being i don't know you see this is the thing this is why i need to talk to some people to bounce ideas off to bounce i'm sounding like a desperate woman but please i really i just need you know there's a whole building that's there there's a whole business there that wasn't there before two businesses pretty much next to each other 
freaked me. But then I was in my hometown and I was actually with my grandson. And here in Britain, when there's a building of historical or national importance, we have something called a blue plaque. And uh, there's a number of different buildings in my hometown that have blue plaques. And as we were walking um, through town, there were these massive, like, like big dinner plates, um, dark black iron uh, plaques in the ground. Now, blue plaques go on the walls. These were big iron dinner plate sized iron plaques in the ground explaining what was being said on the wall. And I said to my grandson, oh, these are lovely. When did they put these in? Like I'd never, like, when did, I mean, this is my hometown. I've lived here for 30, 30 odd years. So here I am giving it, when did he put these in? These are beautiful, aren't they? And it was giving me, you know, it was like, like um, it was giving the same information. And I thought, why have they kept the blue plaques up? That seems weird. Right? So, but ignored it and carried on. Anyway, a couple of days later, or maybe the day later, I'm not sure, I was walking past another building. And I, it used to be the registry office in my town. And then now it's a bridal shop. That's, that's neither here nor there. But it had a plaque on the ground, the same sort of plaque on the ground. Um, it doesn't have a blue, it doesn't have a blue sign because it's not of historical value, importance, but it did have one of the same black plaques, iron plaques in the ground. And it told me what the building used to be. Now, I've always wondered that because I'm really into my into my history and things and I need you know on a need to know basis I need to know and I always wondered what that was and I'd never been able to find out well it was the cottage hospital it was the town's cottage hospital and it was it said on the plaque that it was made in it was built in 1866 so I was a chuffed because I got information and I like information I like knowing new things and so I was really chuffed yay well some time passed and I visited my hometown again. And the the big black plaques in the ground had disappeared. With no sign of them ever having been there. There was no mark in the ground where they once were. And the two places that I'd seen them in the centre of town, they weren't there anymore. The blue plaques were still there, but the ones on the ground had gone. And I commented to my grandson, that's really weird, isn't it? Because look, they, they they were there on the ground and now they're not. And he, he agreed. He remembered. He remembered. Now, I didn't push it any further because my grandson's only 11. I don't want to talk to him about the bloody Mandela effect. So I just shrugged it off and ignored it. But I then went on to try and tell somebody very special to me. And they just thought that I'd had a dream. But then I went off and I found out and I discovered that, yes, the building had been built in 1866. And it was the cottage hospital. So I didn't know that before. Which means, in reality, I have walked in different dimensions in my same town, in my hometown. That's, they're not there anymore. They've gone with no sign of them ever having been there which means that I've been in one reality and another. I, I can, I've seen it with my own eyes. Also, one of the streets, um, there'd been a whole load of over, it was all overgrown. It was up a hill, it was all overgrown. And somebody had taken down all the old bushes and things and two beautiful houses had been revealed. Made, uh, like, they looked like they'd been uh, made by reclaimed bricks from much earlier time. But there were be two beautiful big houses. And, I, you know, I just thought, oh, they're beautiful, they're lovely. Until one day when I came past and there was a digger in the garden. There was a digger in the big yellow digger in the garden. And there was the houses were there. And then the next time I went past, the houses had gone. And I said, I commented, bloody hell, they took them houses down quick, didn't they? To which the reply was, there never was any houses. There never was any houses. That was just a load of scrap land, d dirt land with bushes and overgrown foliage. <laughs> I saw the houses, I saw them. 
I saw them. And I can't get my head around the fact that I have. And they're not there anymore. 